Hello and welcome to Mostly Vintage Cameras. This is another new product, a Minox tabletop tripod. Now, uh, unlike the flash trigger we reviewed previously, uh, when I say this is a new product, it is a new vintage product in that this is one of the few products in the Minox range that was originally designed in the 1930s that is still in production today. I think, I think it's the only one. So I'm not going to open the box because I've already been using it. And uh, this is what you find inside that box. So let's get rid of that. Now I uh, even sold these back in the 80s and into the 90s as a small tabletop tripod for lots of different cameras. It's not unique to Minox. So let's take it out of the pouch. The pouch really isn't to protect the tripod so much as it's to protect anything else in your pocket or your bag uh, from getting scratched by the tripod. Now the keen-eyed among us, or among you, will have noticed that this tripod has one leg and a ball and socket head. So if I loosen this, the head flops around and if I tighten it, it locks up again. But further down here, I think we've already given the game away, we can unscrew this to reveal a leg. So this screws in here. Another section comes out from the base and screws in here. Get the angle right. And we get a, a smallish but a very useful tripod that we can carry around in our pocket. Now quite a few cameras of course if we're using vintage equipment uh, will require a cable release. Uh, Minox have thought of that because the last little thing that unscrews, you guessed it, it's a cable release. How cool is that? Now in terms of what we can use in, uh, by way of a camera on this sort of thing, uh, obviously we can uh, use it with our vintage uh, sub-miniature Minox cameras. Uh, we'll need the tripod adapter or in this case the binocular adapter. But it will take uh, bigger cameras, so this is a, a small 35mm camera, uh, and that works perfectly well. And also uh, we can even go up to a small mirrorless digital camera. This is an original Olympus uh, electronic pen, but if you've got something like a Sony A6000 or 5000, that will work just as well. Now it is good practice, particularly if you are using one of these heavier cameras, to have one leg facing towards the subject so that when you have your camera facing towards the subject with a bigger lens on like the uh, mirrorless cameras it will support the weight better. Now there's basically uh, three ways of using the tripod. You can use it in the conventional way just plonk it on a, a table or uh, something of that nature, a bench. That works perfectly well or if there's no, no table around, we can press it against a wall or a tree or some other vertical surface. That isn't as good as uh, having it on the flat, of course, but it still reduces camera shake markedly. And finally, um, a rather novel way of using it is to hold it um, as a chest pod to actually brace it against one's own body. Uh, we're not going to be able to use shutter speeds running into seconds, obviously but uh, perhaps a uh, 30th, 15th, maybe an eighth of a second would be fine under these circumstances. Anyway, putting it away is the reverse of deploying it. Just going to unscrew that and push that in there. It's beautifully made, I have to say. These were always expensive and you can see why when I used to sell them they retailed in the 80s at about £50, which was a lot of money at that time. Uh, in real terms, they probably haven't gone up in price as much as other products, because they are still available new, as I say, and they sell now for not £50, but £80. Um, so it's quite a lot of money to pay for a very small tripod, but it is super handy 
it is an original 1930s design um, and it's just a cut above the sort of uh, I'm not gonna I've got a few small mini tripods kicking around here I'm not gonna pick on any in particular but if you uh, if you value quality and uh, sturdiness uh, as well as good design could well be worth the 80 pounds uh, in theory you can buy this from any Minox stockist in reality most Minox stockists these days are uh, involved in sports optics, telescopes and binoculars so they should be able to order something in for you but I do know and, and I hate to keep uh, mentioning them but my friends at MS Hobbies my uh, little favourite uh, specialist retailer on Putney High Street London I believe they carry these from stock and you should be able to order them from their website if you wanted one. If you don't want one, that's absolutely fine, but it's not the sort of thing you might uh, see if it wasn't featured in a video like this. Anyway, thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it. Just a short video on the Minox tabletop tripod. Do have a good day.